I wasn't expecting to see... Felix Westwood. I always knew you'd walk back through my door. But after 26 years? <laughs> How's that for a welcome? Yeah, for the swelling. Don't you dare help him! You trapped me down! As if. I did. I just wanted Mum and Dad in the same room. So you're my daughter? Celeste, Toby, Mitchell, are we done now? Baby made it? Well, before I died. Dead or alive, you would not have cared. You know something? I'm Lisa. I'm... Not yours. Okay, um, look, um, seeing all of you... Yeah, I'm not interested in getting to know each other, so let's just get straight to the point, Daddy. She said you made her give us up for adoption when we were babies. That this is all your fault. True. Or false. Oh, this is a Devro problem. Excuses. That's all you'll ever get with him. I mean, triplets. I mean, I had no cash. I was living in a squat. No place for kids. I talked you into giving them up, didn't I? So it really wasn't Mom's fault. He's the one that gave up on you. You know, if I was older, if I had decent parents that could teach me right, it would not work out the way it did. He gave us. To a psychologist. The first seven years of my life, I didn't even know I had a brother living in the same house. I was isolated in one room. I thought, this is how all kids are brought up. We were brought up like freaks. Do you have any idea of the permanent damage that you have caused to these children? and I could have better life. We have no kind of normal relationship, no friends, no family. This is a sham! Fake! Sick making this! We got all the information we needed. You, Mitchell. We can, we can still get to know each other. Pisces, junior doctor, Crystal Palace fan, and gay. What? Scott's my boyfriend. No, the Palace. Sh shocking, that. Huh? I'm an LFC kind of guy. <laughs> no, it's not the time for jokes. So you just gave Toby and Celeste up. So I run for me and Mum. Idiot! Do you know how much these boots cost? So you are going to pay for them. So why don't you get out of that car and face me like a real man? Hi, uh, Carl. I'm not used to a manual. <laughs> My Bugatti has been serviced. <laughs> I don't have a Bugatti. <laughs> And I'm an idiot, you know, I'm sorry. Nice boots. Here. Uh, well, uh, do you think they're stripper boots? Why don't you add a launch to that? <laughs> hey, how about I uh, take you for a drink to say sorry? So, you're gonna have a proper drink now? So you do enjoy my company? <laughs> no, I mean, you might need one, you know, after me offloading on you. Look, you lost two brothers and a fiancé. I'm, I'm a misery magnet. Mm. Yeah, sorry. Just had a rough couple of weeks. Understatement or what? <laughs> so probably a bad time to ruin these. <laughs> Just an excuse to look at a lovely pair of uh, boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounded really creepy. I'm... Maybe I liked it. Um, <clears throat> can I get you anything else? Oh, I can always show you the... Shoe special board, if you like. 
I, I miss them. I'm a happily married woman. Uh, uh, I uh, can't drink. I'm a drive-in. Badly. <laughs> uh, and I need a clear head for some business, but, uh, you know, keep the change. Oh. And, um, top restaurant. Thanks. So, uh, what is it that you do for business? Um, the Chronicles of Narnia. Narnia business. Are, are, are we gonna see you again? That depends. On quite a bit. I'm looking for a Martin. Mum, who is this? Felix Westwood. Your dad. You know, I never met my son till later on in life, too. Me and Harry made it work. Mmm. Where did you get these? The Pier Street is so light. Bakery near the hotel. It is the first step of convincing my son to ditch Crystal Palace and support the Reds. Never gonna happen. <sighs> What happened to your face, by the way? I know Mum didn't hear you that hard. Uh, damn hotel bathrooms, they're so small, like just open the door, bam! Yeah. Anyway, I was thinking we should spend the day together, coffee by the river, bit of shopping, then lunch. Yeah, sounds great, but I'm working, so maybe after work we could um, head into town. Done. I'll meet you here, you can give your old man a lift. No can do. I don't drive. What? <laughs> you, you don't have a Porsche on a big doctor's salary? <laughs> You know, we don't make as much as you might think. Mm. I'll see you later. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Check Mr. Williams' office again in two hours. No family of any change. So, it's not just a line to pick up the guys then. You're really a doctor, yeah? What are you doing there? Got a surprise for you. Yeah, I got you a little something that you, you know, thought you might need. Get outside. I can't, I've got patients backed up. You're the boss, right? Five minutes. People are used to waiting in places like this. Not on my shift. Right, I gotta go. I'll see you tonight, yeah? But, yeah. What? Are you stalking me? Get lost. Got a solid jab on you, bro. Got a far better punch than you did back in the Boston days. Look, we were just kids, yeah? Well, we ain't kids no more. No one likes living in those homes. You have to do what you have to do to get by. Look, it's all in the past now. You know, you must really like getting here, because you're heading for another one. I want no trouble. Just in town to uh, get to know my son. Oh, good for you, because my son's got leukemia. So we haven't got time for this. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, is there anything I can do for you, mate? I'm not your mate. Stay out of my life. I won't tell you again. No, I didn't get a chance. It's not what I expected. Well, you know what? Maybe he's not the bad guy that Walter said he was. Maybe he was just a kid who made mistakes. <laughs> what is this? My favourite car ever. Surprise! <laughs> Lovely interior, surround sound, and my personal favourite, heated seats for those cold winter mornings. <laughs> so we just met, so you get me a car? What, is it pink because I'm gay? No, that's a bit cliche. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it! Don't be shy. D Check it out. Think of all the birthdays and Christmases that I missed. I want to catch up. I want a relationship. And I want to do it right this time. Hey, how come there's a different number plate in the boot? Is this car stolen? Of course not. OK, yes, yeah, it is. But, 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 but chill, chill. We've got off a mate. Totally untraceable. It's like driving it off a lot. 
Do you like it? No, I don't. What's wrong with you? I could get arrested. Oh. Granddad was right. It's still the same immature guy that left me when I was born. Mature guy. And I bet that wasn't even done by a cupboard, was it? I should have known. Oh. I want nothing to do with you. Mitchell, wait. Mitchell! 